If you've been trying to lose weight and your body is not responding to programs that worked in the past, our next guest says this can be quite common and actually caused by a fatty liver. Take a look. Welcome, Dr. Nash. It's always great to have you on the show. So good to see you today. We're talking about fatty liver, and you say that there are three ways that having a fatty liver can prevent someone from losing weight, from losing stubborn fat. How is that? Absolutely, and this is a, something that a lot of people really don't understand about fatty liver, is that if you're in some stage of fatty liver, it makes it almost impossible for you to burn body fat properly, even when you're on a diet. And the first reason that that's an issue is because only the liver can convert your body fat into the energy that your body can burn. So if you wanna burn more body fat, you've gotta rely on that liver to convert it. And if it's fatty, it's acting like a clogged toilet. It can't do it even though you're aggressively going after that extra weight. Well then how does someone develop a, a fatty liver throughout their life? Back about 20 years ago or longer, we really only saw this problem in the alcoholic population. But these days, 40% of the entire country, including children, now have some stage of fatty liver. And that means it's coming from our food supply. You know, as we get busier and busier, we rely more on processed foods, fast foods, and restaurants. These foods drive a very sick and diseased liver, which in turn not only causes long-term disease, but in the short term, a stubborn weight problem. Just strictly dieting and exercise is not going to be the solution, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. So if we go back to that clogged toilet example, if I have a clogged up toilet and I put more stuff in the toilet, it doesn't necessarily drain the water any faster. The liver's the same way. Sometimes people will see a change in their liver with diet, but that's because they accidentally stumbled onto something extra. The diet alone, reducing calories alone or exercise, won't do it. So you have the five metabolic factors. Run them down for us. Yeah, so total transformation, the total is the five metabolic factors that I'm looking for inside every person who's struggling with a weight issue. The first one is that toxicity. That's where we're talking about right now today, which is the liver. The next one is being overfed but undernourished. You're getting enough calories but not enough nutrition to repair the body. The third one is to retrain the set point, that part of the brain that thinks that your weight should be sitting higher than it really should. The fourth one is acidity, which is better known as inflammation and how inflammation can swell up the middle area of the body. And then the last one is up to seven different low or imbalanced hormones that if they're not in the right position, you're not burning body fat no matter what you do. Dr. Nash, what I love about you is that you always bring a great offer to the table every week. So for this week, what do you have for us? Normally, my evaluations are $97, and that's just because of the extent that we go to find things out for you. But if you guys mentioned that you saw me on Las Vegas now with JC, I've reserved 10 spots that instead of $97, it's a 90% discount. It's less than $10. You're going to get two webinars that explain these in, this information in more detail. Plus, you get the virtual or online evaluation with me. We're going to keep you safe because we still want you to be healthy out there. So it'll be online. And the best way to get it is to go on that website and to secure your spot that way. The appointments are sitting there waiting for you.